What's poppin' everybody out there, man? I hope y'all having a good day, man, and y'all getting money, man. You know, you stand with God, man, and making sure y'all stay blessed. Now, man, on today's little episode, man, I'm finna be talking about my nigga Vic. Now, I've been getting a lot of little requests, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to hear a story about the Don. You know what I mean? So, I'm finna let them know, man. So, uh, before I even start this story, let me tell y'all that my nigga was always about a dollar. You know what I mean? He always wanted some money. You know what I mean? Every time he woke up in the morning, man, he was thinking, you know what I'm saying, let's get some money. So, uh, this a little bit before his death, man. You know what I mean? Uh, basically, he had pulled up on me. We was at the homie's house out west. And uh, he told me, man, you know, let's go make a play. You know what I mean? And when he said, let's go make a play, it was time to make a play because he was really making plays. You feel me? So, uh, you know, he had his kids in the back. You know what I'm saying? Which is which was normal for Vic. You know what I'm saying? He always had his kids. You know what I mean? No matter what he did or, you know what I mean, all that shit, he kept them safe. You know what I mean? Out of harm's way. But he, he made sure that he kept them close to him. You know what I mean? And uh, so we riding around, man. We we had to go out of town. We went to SAC. And uh, we met up with our old boy. You know what I'm saying? And we picked up, you know what I'm saying, what what he uh, basically uh, had uh, waiting for him. You know what I mean? So we picked it up. Everything went good on that aspect. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, we kept getting this call. You know what I'm saying? I remember he kept getting this call on his phone. You know what I mean? And uh, he kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. And he kept forwarding it. And I was like, bro, who is that? You feel me? He was like, oh, man, that's Whoopty Wop. You feel me? So then Whoopty Wop started calling me. You feel me? And I'm like, damn, this nigga calling me now. You feel me? So mind you, you know what I'm saying? We don't really fuck with Whoopty Wop. You know what I'm saying? Whoopty Wop just know us, you know what I'm saying, from around. And he be getting stuff from us sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes. So we out of town. We really can't, you know what I mean, do nothing. You know what I mean? Um. We can't help him out because he, he he in a whole nother town. So when we get back to town, you know what I'm saying, we uh pull up on Wooty Wop because he keep calling the whole time. So when we pull up on Wooty Wop, basically he asked for something smaller than what he was calling us for. So kind of tripped us both out, man. So we, uh we, we you know what I'm saying, gave it to him, whatever he was looking for. And then, uh, you know, he started calling us back again. So... You know, with, with what it was, you know, we expected him to start calling back again. So it was nothing new to us. So we had Brung, you know what I'm saying, went back and brung something else to him, you feel me? So, mind you, we went to go make the play, the other play out of town. So when we got back, we still had things we had to do for that other play. <clears throat> so we going to do the play. Now we we, we we going to do the other play we got to do back in town. So we go do the play. Everything goes smooth. So we getting a call from the same dude again, right? So now I'm like, man, this nigga's either strung out or he on some funny activities. You feel me? So now he started asking for a bigger amount of what, you know what I'm saying, he was asking for originally. You feel me? So now we sitting here thinking like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying, this nigga on some weirdo shit. Like, if he's spending all his money that fast, how, how he got enough money for the for the big pack? So we like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you know what I'm saying, he calling, he calling, he calling. This nigga like, man, I, I, I'll be there in a minute, I'll be there in a minute, so... Mind you, the dude that's calling, he with some other dudes that kind of fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Dude, like, ain't really going to let us nothing happen to us, you know what I mean? So, the other dude that the dude with that keep calling, basically dude like, hey, I got to tell you something. He called me on the phone first, and he said, I got to tell you something. I said, what? He said, hey, Wooty Wop trying to set y'all up, you feel me? And we like, Wooty Wop trying to set us up? He like, yeah. So we like, man, okay, well, we finna pull up on Wooty Wop. You feel me? So, cause you know, we was the type of nigga, we was young and stupid, you know what I'm saying? So if Wooty Wop was trying to set us up, you know what I'm saying, we was gonna pull up on Wooty Wop and see what time it was. But he was like, nah, man, they actually, you know what I'm saying, got hella people over here, man, and Wooty Wooty Whoop. And I was like, well, why would he even be thinking something like that? Cause you know, like, we wasn't ever no, no bitches or hoe ass niggas. So I'm thinking like, why would he even try something like that? I was like, bro, you lying or something? He was like, nah, man, you know, he didn't did all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now he feeling crazy because uh, we y'all wasn't answering y'all phone when y'all was out of town. So he said y'all was disrespecting him. You feel me? But he ain't really even like this, mind you. The shit that's got him going crazy. So he like, man, uh, just, you know what I'm saying, watch out when y'all pull up. And we like, man, you know what I'm saying, we gonna, we going to handle it accordingly. So uh, we pull up on, bro, you know what I'm saying, we serve, but we pull up on bruh first, and bruh like, man, I got a, I got a 50, you know what I'm saying? And we like, man, well, 
what you call for, man, you call for a lot more than 50, you know what I'm saying? So, the fuck is you doing? So, mind you, as he said he got the 50, he reaching down his pockets and he acting like, oh, he got to find the money, you feel me? But, like, as I'm looking at his hands, you feel me, I'm noticing, like, he pulling out a whole bunch of ones and the ones ain't equaling up to even 50. So, I'm like, hold on, bro. So, I was, like, I was like, hey, pull off, right? As he pull off, right, dude was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right? So, like, as I look in my rear view mirror, I see these two dudes coming, man. Like, he got a black, one got a black hoodie on, and one had, like, a red, like, an Echo hoodie on. You know the old school Echo hoodies, you feel me? One had a little old school red Echo hoodie on on the other side. And, uh, basically, they was, like, sitting behind a car, like, crouched down. So, I told Vic, I said, you see that? And he was like, yeah. So, you know, Vic, like, we pull off, Vic, like, go. I'm, I'm, I'm like, go, go, go. I told Vic, go, excuse me. Uh, Vic pull off, right? When Vic pull off, we gone. So, dude got the running towards the car, you feel me? Vic stopped the car down the street. And this crazy little nigga got the knocking off, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, man, well, he ain't going to be the only nigga knocking off. So, I get the knocking off on a nigga. Shoot, we knocking off, we knocking off. Mind you, these niggas got, like, some old school rusty 1972 guns because they they obviously fiends you know what i mean they shoot and i see the nigga trying to adjust his gun like trying to fix it like his shit didn't jam so i'm like damn you feel me so we buzzing big buzzing we, we hit the corner and that nigga vic was like man that nigga really did try to set us up and i said yeah man i told you he was gonna try to set us up that's what dude told us and he was like man i didn't give a fuck i was gonna pull up man i wanted to see if he was really gonna try it and I was like, man, my little nigga is a sad, man. And as I look back at it, it's like, man, you know, that little nigga, man, he used to always get money, man. He used to always take care of his business, and he was a real nigga, man. And even though, man, they did get my nigga on a couple more plays after that, man, he still was about his kids, man. He still got money, man. And uh, that was a good little nigga, man. And, you know, I'm finna have other stories, you know, other times, other good times with me and this nigga, man. But my nigga, man, he was always about money, always getting money, man. And, uh... You know, I remember he pulled he pulled off. I thought, because, you know, I ain't finna lie. When we pulled off, you know, I'm trying to roll my window down and knock backwards. He stopped the car, you feel me? So, I love my little nigga, man, for real. Uh, you know, until the next one, man, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that motherfucking notification bell, man. It lets you know when I drop, man. Until the next one, man, y'all stay safe, man.